Hi, Aunt Sam, budding beekeeper here. We're at the apiary today. It is September 10th. Um, we've been battling a wicked case of hive beetles. So I'm a little worried going into winter um, if this hive is going to overwinter well or not. Um, first it was the strength of the hive, now it's a pest. So, you know, if it's not one thing, it's something else. Um, so I'm going to open the hive up and do an inspection. All right, we're gonna take off the top cover. I'm gonna take off the inner cover here. So far, so good. I haven't seen any beetles, but the last time they were all in the food chamber and um, it was awful. So I didn't put that on video because I was kind of freaking out about it, I gotta tell you. And there's a little mother father right there. Come here, you little SOB. I've got something for you. Oh, there he is, and smash, and smash. All right, so it looks like we have quite a few in the food chamber again. I'm not sure. Hopefully not as many as last time. So we'll take this off and see what we have, and try to kill as many as possible. Oh my lord! Oh my lord! Oh my lord! see what happens for the next four days. Um, uh, this is like nightmare on Hive Avenue. And just take one of these off of here and see what's going on. We got beetles, beetles, beetles everywhere. So I need to kind of put this up close here to the camera, but you can see one of these little guy's in the comb here and he's trying to he's trying to run and hide um, it's kind of right there that's what I'm fighting um, so what happens is they they can decimate a hive by eating all the honey stores um, laying their eggs where the bees lay their eggs and then what happens is there's no food left for the bees to eat and there you go. You just have a hive full of hive beetles. This one's uh, pretty heavy so they're, uh, they're putting honey in here. They're storing honey and you can see that there's some pot honey here that they're working on which is good. Um, However, if we don't get a handle on the high beetle situation, then all will be for naught. And as I predicted earlier in earlier videos, I will probably be starting over in the spring, which is wasn't really the goal, but then again, I don't intend to give up either. Okay. This one also has a lot of capped honey on it. And I took my queen excluder off, so I don't know where the queen is going to be, so that's why I'm kind of looking and taking my time a little bit with these frames because I don't want anything to happen to her in the process of me trying to clean stuff up and battle hive beetles. So I suspect she's still going to be down below, but I still want to get a good look. I got somebody crawling on my leg and it tickles. Hazards of wearing shorts. Hello ladies, hello ladies. It's everybody kind of get out of the way so I can sit this down and whoop, knock somebody off. Okay, so this is where the queen should be living. So I'm going to look for her. She was about on frame three last time. 
So I think I'm going to kind of start there. Um, see if I can flush out any hive beetles. See if I can draw one out. I know there's one on this frame. I just can't catch him. Ah, here he is, down here in the corner hiding. And now he is very, very dead. And that is a very, very good thing. Suck it, hive beetles. Ah. Got Big Mama in sight here. She's on this side of the frame. Um, I know you've seen her before, but I'll just kind of turn it around. And <laughs> you won't be able to see her unless I zoom in later. But... Uh, that's okay. She's she's a good thing to see. Always want to look for her first and make sure she's doing well. Okay, another good thing I see is larval stages. And I'm looking at that on this frame. Um, If my cameraman was here, I would have him walk over and zoom in, um, and we'll do that next time. Ah, good. I was looking for eggs, and I see some eggs too, so that's good. I need to see the different life stages, not just one stage. Anytime you see just one stage of, of life cycle, it usually means there's a problem in the hive, and as you're well aware, we already have plenty of problems in the hive, so we don't need any more. Well, praise the Lord and pass the ammunition. We're going to pull the last frame out here for a little inspection. Haven't been seeing hive beetles on the frames. It doesn't mean they're not there. They're probably hiding under the bees. I tend to see them more on the end frame, so I wouldn't be surprised if I saw some here. Oh, and by golly, <laughs> true to form, one shows up. And I got him. He's dead. Yay. Yay me. Oh, and there's a little wasp. that little fella just flew in or if he was trying to invade. Here acorns falling off the oak trees. So excited for deer season. That has nothing to do with bees. I just thought I'd mention it. Ooh, there's a little hive beetle. Ah. not fall off of that hive if they can help it. That, I just got about four more, so. Woo! Oh, shit. It is a hot mess of hive beetles on this particular frame. Hot mess of hive beetles. <laughs> 